Ah, noble thinkers, gather around the grand arena of wonder, where today, we skip the formalities and instead embrace the untamed, jubilant art of play. Come, let your inner child take the lead as we traverse the meadows of merriment, searching for the essence of exuberance that keeps our spirits alive. From the dawn of our existence, we've danced, laughed, and reveled in the simple joys of being. Why? Because buried deep within the codes of our consciousness is an innate need for play, a realm where rules bend, imagination reigns, and the soul takes flight. Great minds of yore have often celebrated this joyous act. Plato, ever the idealist, believed that life must be lived as play, while Nietzsche saw in it the highest form of affirmation. In Eastern wisdom, Zen masters exemplified the playful spirit, turning the profound into parables, paradoxes into playthings. Yet, in the grand theater of existence, play's significance is hotly debated. Is it merely a frivolous respite? Or does it hold deeper philosophical meanings? Some argue that play is our defense against the existential void, a means to imprint our essence onto the canvas of life. Others view it as the soul's way of celebrating its temporal dance, a jubilation of the now. Unraveling the tapestry, we find that play is not just an act but a state of being. It's the raw, unfiltered expression of our deepest self, unrestricted by societal facades or temporal constraints. In the symphony of existence, play is the spontaneous burst of a timeless note, echoing the soul's truest tune. Gracious thinkers, for allowing me to be your playful guide through this philosophical exploration, I am eternally grateful. As we part, muse over these playful provocations. In a world governed by productivity, can we find balance by embracing the unstructured beauty of play? Does our capacity to play diminish with age? Or do we simply forget the pathways to its kingdom? How might society transform if play was revered as a philosophy, rather than relegated as a pastime? Hold these inquiries close. Let them shape your days. Color your moments. Until we reconvene in this arena of thought, may you dance with abandon, laugh without restraint, and let play be the compass guiding your spirit's endless journey.